But boy, it's good to see. I was lonely out on the road there. Yeah, yeah, that's a tough spot when you're on the road. And o- OKC, you're right in the middle of the earth, and uh, you need a pal. Well, Oklahoma City, and I know you got a lot, because we teased Mexico, and then I heard a story about you that I'm dying to hear. What? So, yeah, it's not good. It's really? Not pretty, yeah. Oh, no. Yeah, yeah. Should I be worried? Uh... Oh, come on! What are you doing to me? No, we talked about it earlier. The oh, poo. Oh, yeah, I got to hear yeah. about the poo. Oh, that's not bad I got to get all. the poo scoop and Mexico scoops. The poop. But uh, some Mexicans scoop poo. They take the jobs that, uh, you know, whatever we don't want. Sure, 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 yeah. But, anyways, Oklahoma City, real quick, I just got to blast through it. Fun city. Never been there before my whole life. Blasted by faith. Really? Yeah. Major city. Been to Oklahoma, never been to OKC. Well, there was no club there for most of our existence. What are you, Tulsa man? I never did Tulsa either. Mm. I just did that one casino gig. Oh, yeah. Well, that counts as Tulsa. Yeah. But it wasn't Tulsa, though. It was, it was Oklahoma something. It was like I on see. A burial I see. ground or whatever the fuck you call it. Oh, we did a casino together. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. Thank you. What town was that? Thank you. No, we did the casino together in Arizona. Ah. Or New Mexico. Albuquerque. Albuquerque. We did Albuquerque together. Take a left at Albuquerque. That was fun. And my grandmother died. And um, my wallet's gone. Newman died? My grandma's gone. Um... <laughs> Anyways, Oklahoma City, never been there. Cool city. I liked it. That brick town is nice. Cool city. A lot of brick, a lot of red. I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, there's a baseball park there, and I went to the OK State game. Yo, OK, babe, State. Uh, Oklahoma State football game. What a blast. Went to double overtime. Woo-wee. Two years in a row, I've been to great college football games. Brought old Dayton Bissett down there. He's did, a young boy. Did he give a shit? Yeah, he's from Oklahoma, so he's okay. pretending to like it or okay. whatever, I think. And yeah, that's what they do. It does feel like he's my son. Like, I'm walking around, and this is like, remember when you were kids, you'd be like, and uh, or, and then in the 2000s, I'd be like, and uh, I'll have a large coffee and a cupcake for my boyfriend. It'd be like, ha, 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 ha. Now they're just like, oh, that's your boyfriend. Yeah, good point. I'm like that with Dayton. I'm like, and uh, whatever my son wants. And they're like, oh, he's your son. That's cool. Right, right. Because I'm 42 and he's 11. Yeah. So it makes sense. He's a cute little kid. He looks like if Central Casting booked a little kid for a -a Make-A-Wish. Like, oh, he's retarded. He needs a change. But he's he's cute. But women are into him. Oh yeah, because he's a he's a thing. He's a fetish. He's like a, a special needs boy, you know, who shits himself. Yeah, he's a Down syndrome twink yes. from Oklahoma. He's like a hayseed with blonde hair. He's like a surfer hayseed. He's a DST. Yeah, and he's funny too. Yeah, he kills. Hey, he wrote a book. I think my wife might want to bang him and show him the show him the ropes. Something's up there. I, I can yeah. feel a vibe. Well, he's like a babysitter porn. Like, oh, what are you doing with your tits out, ma'am? I wonder if he fucks well. No. I can't imagine. What are you kidding? Well, by the way, he weighs about 111 pounds, this kid. Well, look him up. Dayton Bissett, and he's, or Bissett is how he say his name, but I'm just going to keep saying Bissett because Bissett's gay. I don't like it. Sounds I, like a cookie. I don't want to say his name at all. But anyway, so what happens? So he's, well, we're out walking. We meet up. We're walking down the stairs. He sprains his ankle like eight minutes in the first thing. What is he, my grandpa? That's what I said. He's never drank a glass of milk in his life. He ah, weighs 80 pounds. And his, his foot is like blue, but I feel bad because, you know, we're crafty. The old comedy vets. I've been sure. on the Tonight Show and uh, Letterman forty eight years ago. Never heard of him. So he's like, he's like, you know, holding my hand. Like, where are we going, Papa? Right. And I'm like, well, you got to get off that. Your your foot is broken. Yeah. And he's like, no, no, I can do it. So he just limped around for days. Wow, poor guy. You should give him a red balloon. It would have floated him. <laughs> I bring him to the football game, and I'm like, hey, we're going to have to park a mile away. You should probably not come. And he's like, oh, no, I'm fine. Literally, his toes are curled up. Wow. They're pointing different directions, bright purple. Well, I respect the trooper. Oh, he trooped, baby. Trooper scooper. But uh football game was was great and, and fun, and the shows were all killer, except late show Saturday. Uh. We filmed it, and... This is the drunkest, rowdiest, most retarded group of people I've ever been around. They get after it. And yeah, I, I did volunteer work. So this this was really bad. And I might release it on YouTube, like, drunkest, really? dumbest crowd. Oh, I watched that. That'll blow up. It was crazy. There was a Lebanese guy in the front. I, I thought he was like, I literally was like, are you Sasha Baron Cohen doing a character? He was like, a Lebanon. I don't know what goes on. Hey, Lebanon. I'm from Lebanon. And then there's a blind guy just raising his hand and yelling out that he's blind. I know that guy. Really? He goes to all the shows in OKC. He's got a 12-foot stick. He has the longest stick in history. What is he, black? <laughs> um, He's, everything he sees is black. That's true. And 
then the, another guy the, started scary. heckling him, and uh, people were yelling out over there. It was a fucking uh, f- uh, shit fest. It was wow. Horrible. Yeah, they booze out there in OKC, and you forget about those old drunk crowds. I mean, that was the first twenty years of comedy. Well, that was the thing is, uh, you know, because I'm selling some tickets now. It's exciting. Thanks for everyone that keeps coming out. And uh, ooh, 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 by the way, ooh, ooh, ooh. I've, got, I've got some Starbucks and Chipotle gift cards. Thank you. My new yes. apartment is a Chipotle at the bottom of the steps. Ooh, that's lunch. So I'm gonna be all over that Chipotle. So thank you for all the people bringing nice gifts. It's very sweet. All over that shuffleboard court. We appreciate it. But um, oh, I lost my train of thought again. The I'm Lebanese no guy, the blind guy with the long stick, the drunk crowd. Drunk. Doing it for 20 years. Oh, oh. You so got I've been tickets selling now. some tickets. So now I go to Oklahoma City. Never been to this market ever. So the tickets are like low. Nice, but low. Sure. So... I haven't done shows like this in a long time where they're like, we have 80 for the first show, 110 for the second show, 105 for the the next show, 70 for the next show. It's quite fun to do a show for 80 people, 70 people. You haven't done that in a while. It's it's, it's really fun because it feels intimate and nice. Yeah. Obviously, I'd rather have it be sold out and make the money, but you're like, this is kind of fun. It's kind of fun. all weekend, I was like, I haven't had this feeling in a while, but I also haven't had this feeling in a while. Late show... 30 fans and 50 drunk idiots uh, going, who's this motherfucker? Right, and right. And boy, it was monkeys throwing shit, as oh, Jerry said. Oh, man. Now, did you did you make a meal out of it? Did you shuck and jive? Or did you did you, did you you snap? I didn't snap, but I was, I think I was furious. I just plowed through. I did, yeah. Like, you haven't fun with it for a while, and after a while, you're like, this sucks. And I feel bad because I didn't do a meet and greet, and a few people messaged me, and they're like, I understand, but we were hoping to meet, and I feel bad, but you don't want to go out because there's so many fucking you, idiots You can't out there. face them. Because it's one thing to be on stage where you can go, look at this retard, shut the fuck up. But now in the face-to-face, you got to go, yeah, yeah, it's okay, I get it. And they're spitting on you, they're screaming at you, it's not worth it. And you get the people that are like, I was the guy that yelled out, yes. you suck. And you're like, oh, nice, thank you. Exactly. But uh, overall, great weekend, great town. The football game was fucking awesome, so much fun. I put together a video, that'll be on YouTube. Ooh. Or probably it's already on YouTube. What'd you play? Uh, what? You play in the game? No, I just yelled and made fun of people. Oh, oh it's okay, fun to do. great. Hell but yeah. Uh, yeah, Dayton Bissett, check him out. He wrote a book. He sold $1,300 worth of books. He it, cleans up on that book. It's like the Koran. He made more than me, I'll tell you that. But uh, <laughs> yeah, 